Okay, let's get connected to your Sisyphus table with a web browser. Before taking the following steps, your table must be set up, plugged in, and running. If you are using a Windows computer, you may need to install Bonjour Print Services. However, if you're running an Apple computer or have iTunes installed on your Windows machine, this will not be necessary. Go ahead and search for Bonjour Print Services in your browser. It should come up as the first link. Click the download button and when it's complete go ahead and install. Once the installation is finished you should be ready to connect to your Sisyphus table. Open the Wi-Fi network menu and look for the Sisyphus network that is being broadcast by your new table. It should always start with Sisyphus, however the trailing numbers may vary based on model and time that you received your table. Go ahead and select that network and click connect. When the menu collapses, you can go ahead and reopen it and verify it that you are indeed connected. Now open your browser again and navigate to the tables URL. Now the tables URL is going to be the name of the network followed by dot local colon 3001. Sometimes when it first connects it may take a little while. When it loads you should see the screen prompting you to connect to your home Wi-Fi. This is not required However, if in the future you'd like to download available tracks and software updates, you will need to connect your table to your home Wi-Fi network. I'm going to select Yes, and I'm going to look for my Wi-Fi network. Type in the password, and select Connect Sysfis to Wi-Fi. You may notice it flip between screens rapidly, but you can disregard this behavior while it connects to your home Wi-Fi. Open your Wi-Fi network menu again and reconnect to your home Wi-Fi network. Once the table is complete, you will be able to connect to it on your home Wi-Fi network. You may need to refresh your browser for the screen to load.